Hey everybody, it's Charlie from DM Sound, and today we've got the sound system demo on the 2023 Lexus RC and its 17-speaker Mark Levinson sound system. This is going to be an in-depth review. We're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio inputs, adjustments, and controls, then look at speaker locations, and then we're going to head out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now, if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning and you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video. We've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you want to hear even more on this RC uh, Mark Levinson system, check the link in the description for our members-only test. People who sign up and support Daily Motor can request real music, if you will, and hear those songs played on these systems. So I'll be recording that after this if you want to see even more. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at it. In this flare yellow paint color, the Lexus RCF. I believe this is one of the most underrated cars on not only the new car market, with a used car market as well. I thoroughly enjoy driving it. We've driven it in a lot of cool situations this week, and in the past, I even had one out on track, and it performed admirably. So if you do want to see more on the RCF, check the link in the description. We've got all sorts of videos. Now, we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed wave files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high-quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also did a test with the sound settings set to their factory default, so let's take a look at those now. New for 2023 is the ability to touch this screen up here, so you can actually tap around it. I'm going to keep that to a minimum for this test because I'm trying to keep fingerprints off the screen. Fortunately, Lexus still has their trackpad down here. It's not the most intuitive system, but I will admit sometimes it's nice to be able to just gently have your hand down here moving around and keep that screen, again, free of fingerprints and also uh, just keep your eyes on the road a little bit better. So over here in sound, on top we've got adjustments for treble, mid-range, and bass. Let's go through those. you have a front rear left right fader and balance and then automatic sound levelizer this is going to compensate for road noise and wind noise um, and lift and adjust different elements of the music it's not simply just a volume lift like you see in some other cars it's more of an advanced uh, everything lift so once this song gets going uh, we'll turn this up and, and on and off and you can kind of hear the differences and then you've got a surround on and off now admittedly doesn't uh, affect the sound system the way a lot of other cars do with their surround features. A lot of cars, you feel the music enveloping you more, sort of a 360 effect when you have surround on. But in this car, it still comes pretty much in front of you. It just doesn't really sound as good with surround off. So again, as this track gets going, we'll toggle both of these off and on. Like I said, most cars I like to have surround off. It gives you a more true to recording sound for these high fidelity tracks. But in this car, I actually prefer both of these things being on. And that's it for audio adjustments. For audio controls in the RC, you've got a nice volume knob here. It's in good reach for both the driver and passenger. You also have volume adjustments on the left side of the wheel. For track selection, you've got quite a few different options. You can use the touchscreen, you can use the trackpad, you can use these buttons here, you can use this knob here, or left side of the steering wheel right by volume where it belongs. For audio inputs in the RC, you've got plenty. You've got your standard AM, FM, HD radio support, Sirius XM support, USB-A ports, a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack in there as well, support for wired Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and something we rarely see anymore, a compact disc player right there. What does that mean you're missing? Well, no wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which I think is a miss in a luxury car like this. I understand that this is an older model and it would take a lot to retrofit and be able to get wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, but it ruins the luxury experience when you have to have an ugly cable coming out of here and 
have your phone somewhere. I mean, I guess you can kind of put it all in there, but still, it'd be nice to have it wireless and just in your pocket or purse. And then no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jacks, but that's not really the end of the world. And you also don't have any streaming services built in. Speaker locations. As I said, this is a 17 speaker system. They're doing a little bit of cheating by having two-in-one Unity speakers for mid-range and tweeters, but we'll talk about that here in a moment. Starting in the bottom left, you've got a door woofer there. One up here, tweeter in mid-range. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or oh, woofer there, eight. And then in the back, oh shoot, oh, knock this over. <laughs> in the back, nine, 10, woofer, tweeter. 11, 12 on the other side, and then 13, 14, 15, 16, those Unity speakers, and then 17, big subwoofer in the deck lid back there. Okay, I'm gonna get this stuff put away so we can head out on the road.
Many of the merits of this sound system aren't exposed until you turn up a more complex song, something with a lot of instrumentation. You'll start to hear elements of that song that you may never have heard before. I mean, it really is impressive what the car sounds like um, or what the, the songs sound like when you get something with, with a lot more going on. If you're just playing simple music, you don't really get to experience and appreciate a lot of what the system is capable of. But something it is capable of is a pretty strong bass. So for this song, we're gonna turn the bass all the way up and see how it sounds. fancy dinner and maybe someone gets an appetizer or you order something uh, recommended off the menu and it's supposed to be this really great fancy food and and you eat it and you're like I mean yeah it's cool but I just don't like it it's it's not it's not satisfying I, I, I recognize that it's impressive but it's not what I what's not what I want you may experience a similar situation in this sound system here this Mark Levinson Certain songs sound absolutely fantastic, and more, again, more of the impressiveness of the, systems, of the system comes through in those really complex songs, songs with a lot of instrumentation, musicality. It allows the multiple channels here and, and the speakers to really do their best. But if you're just turning up kind of your standard pop music, rock music, hip hop, R&B, country, what have you, there's gonna be certain songs you turn up and you're like, I I don't love this. I mean, the bass seems out of balance and it just doesn't, it's not doing it for me. So I'm give, gonna give the system an A, but it's an A with an asterisk because certain uh, type of listeners who wanna turn their music up really loud, you might not really love it, but other people who really appreciate the complex nature of a more advanced sound system like this, it's gonna reward you. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do wanna see more on this very yellow RCF, check the link in the description. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, or DM Sound, and as always, drive.
drive on.